what? Does oh. anyone remember when that was? Uh, well, um... Ah, it was the summer of the heat wave. Heat wave? I remember it as the summer of the Baldini curse. <laughs> It's so hot, and it's even hotter for Grumps with that coat on. But in just a second, you'll all be cooling down thanks to my breeze machine. Here it goes! <laughs> if memory serves me, an underground stream runs through here. I can hear gurgling under my feet. <laughs> hooray! Hooray! We found it! Guys! We found first cold water! So this is water from the glacier up the mountain? Mm-hmm. That's where the source is. Jump in and cool off, Grumps! <laughs> okay, watch out. <laughs> now you're cool, too. Oh, look! What's that sparkling thing over there? Wow! Look, I found a treasure! It looks like a belt buckle. Oh, let me see. Well, I'll be a black radish. It's a piece of armor, once owned by the Great Baldini. The Great Baldini? Why did he throw his belt buckle away? Seems in good shape to me. Oh, listen, and I'll tell you all a very unusual story. A long time ago, there lived a knight named Baldini. He was a giant who dreamed of making his kingdom bigger. The legend tells of how he alone conquered 33 valiant knights. With the fortune he made from the victory, he built himself a magnificent suit of armor, which was to make him invincible in every battle he fought till the end of his days. But one day, he was afflicted with a mysterious curse, and instead of protecting him, his armor brought him bad luck. It also brought bad luck to all those who, over the years, tried to steal it. Bad luck? Oh. If it brings bad luck, I don't want it. Bah. Don't be scared, Dandelion. It's just a legend. My sentiments? Exactly. However, children, a few years ago, the museum where the suit of armor was being kept caught fire, and the armor needed to be transported clear over to the other side of the mountain to another museum. Now, of course, uh, uh, because of the legend, no one wanted to take on the job of transporting it. At the time, nobody knew the mountain range as well as I did. And since I didn't believe in silly legends about curses, I offered to take the armor over the mountain. However, on the glacier, I encountered a terrible snowstorm. The sled that carried the armor broke away from me and disappeared into the terrible blizzard. Everyone believed the curse had struck once again. The disappearance suited them. No armor, no bad luck. I wish I still had my strong young climbing legs. Now I'd go up there and get that armor, and I'd prove to everyone that this superstition has no truth to it whatsoever. Thank you. 
sure this bridge is safe? Sure it is. I'll show you. The trick is to look straight ahead and don't look down. <laughs> Come on, it's too hot to be scared. Oh, Baldini's buckle. Dandelion must have a hole in his pocket. Oh, Baldini's curse. It's gonna make the bridge fall, I know it. Hey, my buckle. I'm going back to get it. No. Huh? You stay here. I'll come help you, Periwinkle. <laughs> Give it to me. Let him go. 
He's hiding over there. I'm sure of it. I hear him. Listen. Huh? Oh, wow. You look like you saw a ghost. Uh, no. No, I think he's scared of us. Don't be scared. We won't hurt you. Oh. Oh. Back away quickly. The ice is breaking. My wife, Ashmina, and my eldest son, Gelid. Hmm. He's my big brother. Oh. He's the one we heard breathing, I'll bet. Sorry we oh. gave you such a glacial welcome, but we're not used to having visitors. And with the heat wave we're having, our palace has been melting, so we're trying to avoid any movement. If this heat wave continues, oh. all of this will melt away. But all you have to do is move oh. somewhere else. That would be impossible. We're ice bunnies. Our fur and sharp claws are made especially for our environment. But up there, above oh. ground, we would never survive. And our lives as we know it would soon oh. be over. Oh. He's right. We wouldn't get around very well. But with those claws you have, why not dig a little deeper down to where it's cooler? We don't even have to dig. All we have to do is take the... Frisky! Oh. Must I remind you that it is strictly forbidden to speak of that? But, Father... We can't sit around and not do anything. We all know that the Forbidden Passage leads <gasps> right to the middle of the glacier. And I'm pretty sure that by now, the armor is gone. Frisky! What? What's that? You know where the Great Baldini's armor is? Shush! Have you gone bonkers? Bad luck comes just from saying that name. The Sosoths are a little chicken and superstitious. I hope you don't think that a silly suit of armor could bring you bad luck. That's just dumb. <laughs> you clearly don't understand why it brings bad luck. You don't know the truth, and that's what's dumb. The knight, uh, whose name we don't dare say out loud, wasn't as valorous as the legend says he was. In fact, he didn't fight those 33 knights at all. He knocked them off one by one while they were asleep. He was a lowlife and a thief. That's why the armor brought him and all who dared touch it bad luck. No, that's not true. I found a piece of it, and it hasn't brought me bad luck. I woke and saw the children leave. They've been gone a while. Yes, they have. I wonder where they went. You don't think they... Not the mountain. Grumps, let's go. You know, since the armor makes you so nervous, we'll get rid of it. No armor, no bad luck. So tell us where it is. Out of the question. It's too risky and it's dangerous. Not to mention, it's forbidden. Please, you've got to tell us, Frisky. It's in your hands now. Yes, but, uh... The entrance to the secret hallway is over there, behind the columns. Nobody <laughs> goes there Let's ever. Let's go, guys. Frisky! Do something, uh. Gelly! Stop them from going through the passage! <gasps> Stop! We won't let you through. No, you're not getting through. Uh. 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 <laughs> Imagine being so scared of a silly little belt buckle. Dandelion, <laughs> hurry up! Oh. I'm not a chicken, I'm not a chicken. Oh, wait for me! Look a little hungry. We don't know where the tunnel leads. Come on, huh? let's go back. Okay. 
goodness, we thought we'd never find you. There were icicles and jewels. At first, Gellert wasn't nice, but that changed. And their palace was melting. And Frisky proved that he was brave. Who wants some delicious pink lemonade? It's your turn. There's plenty to go around. I wish we could have brought back a piece of the armor for Grandpa Theo. Yes, it's a shame. Especially since you had it right in your paws. Uh -huh. Come see this! Will you look at this? It's the armor. The ice caused it to float in the stream. It brought it right to us. Indeed. Now I'll finally be able to take this to the museum. This is perfect. Now everyone will know that it doesn't bring bad luck at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.